Hello and welcome back. In this video I'm going to talk about different ways of fitting things in the Pi Presents window. Uh, you can fit image or video or web pages different ways in the Pi Presents window. So that's what we're going to look at. First of all, let's look at how I set up the show. I have the main section and it shows three basic levels of how to control the window and I set this up to progress manually through the show. Now the way I expected to be able to do that was uh, to set the progress to manual and then trigger for next set it to input and then for the input uh, use the name one of the pipe presents names for an input in this case it's the PP down, which is the down arrow on the keyboard. Now that doesn't exactly work the way I expected because it displays a message. It displays your image and then it displays a text message that you need to push the key. And that's not exactly what I wanted. I just wanted it to stop on, on the image and then wait for a button. Um, I figured out a way to do it and that is in the track defaults for a show go in here and put in zero for the duration you could do that for specific tracks too I suppose I didn't try that for this uh, the other thing I wanted to mention uh, I added text to these and if you add text in here be sure to add font settings and the color otherwise you'll get an error for presents and it won't run right and I also added different background colors and for the background color uh, that's under the show and track defaults in the background color you can put uh, this, this six character hex code and if you do that be sure to use the sharp sign or the pound sign in front of it or you can put in a name like white or black or gray on the coordinate show I tried to set one up so that it would show an image at the left hand side of the page and the right hand side of the, of the screen but that didn't seem to work because it keeps the background and you can only show one of the images. The way I tried to set it up, which maybe there's a different way of doing it, but I set up uh, under the track, I used the show control and right is this show with an image that is supposed to appear on the right hand side of the screen so at the beginning I set it to right to start that show and then at the end of this slide right to stop the, the right show but you'll see that didn't quite work All right, let's go ahead and start the show and see what it looks like so here's the original the image is this blue square in the middle which I set to half the height of the video window that I'm recording and this is the original size of that image without any you know, fitting or changing or moving if you don't specify any coordinates it positions it in the center and here it is with fit which it expands it to fill the screen and yet save the proportions of the image so it's still a square here and here is shrink which takes the image if it's bigger than your screen and shrinks it down basically it's the same as fit except if your image is smaller than the window it uses the original size and this one is warp where it stretches vertically and stretches horizontally so it's like fit except it doesn't keep your proportions it just fits it 
everywhere on the screen. It fills the screen without any bands on the sides or the top or bottom. And here is the coordinates. This is what I was talking about. The uh, input was set to manual instead of setting the duration to zero. And this is the message you get. Okay, here we set the coordinates to 5050 and the original size. And it shows up on the left. And I tried to show the uh, screen on the right. See that? All right, let's go to the next. Here's the warp using uh, coordinates specified and also the height width. You can also pause a show by hitting the space bar. And you get a message when it's paused as well. Here we're fitting it to these specified coordinates and height and the width. And here it is, warp. All right, here we go into the filters. If you don't specify a filter, then it defaults to the nearest filter. Here's the bilinear, which changes it slightly, and the bicubic, and the anti-alias. Now the manual says that the filter appears as the fifth argument. Let's open that up and take a look at it. So here it is, the fifth argument here. But looking at the actual code, it doesn't have to be the fifth one. Sometimes it appears in, if you're not specifying coordinates, I think it can go you know, like this. Now in the uh, official PyPresents code, you have to have this all caps. <clears throat> in my code, or in my branch, it can be, you know, it doesn't have to be all caps. And PyPresents also has a bug uh, where the filter it doesn't work at all. I can show that to you. Uh, this line here is indented, so it doesn't return here. And also this filter is just using the art, the field 5, it doesn't add the name of it, so, so this stuff here wasn't working. So in my branch I fixed that as well. So I, hopefully that was a good demonstration for the different ways to fit things in the window. Thanks for watching.